six seconds in just six seconds doing this can change your loneliness your hurt your pain your physical pain your emotional pain into feel good feeling hi i'm ali beerman and i'm really glad you stopped by here today and find me at how to be happy with ali b dot com and i've got something for you that i haven't been able to do all week but i thought okay universe gave me the lyrics Surely I can sing them. So let's see what happens. The power of touch, every creature needs it so much. It's more than a crutch to get you through the day. Touch is vital to your being. Prerequisite to your seeing All that's good Good and perfect in your world Flip a frown around No matter the cause Because the miracle hormone Connects you to others Instantly building empathy and trust Reminding you that we are all Sisters and brothers, trust is a must. Don't you agree? I'll tell you more in a minute, revealing the beauty and the power and the love that's in it. When you hug, you can heart to heart. of a hug because I used to be a psychotherapist I read the studies where cases they weren't humans but they were baby chimpanzees and they were deprived of touch touch and you know what happened they all died a baby a child left alone without touch dies that's why they no longer leave newborns who are premature alone in an incubator now there's touch and whenever possible, they're holding. So, what's happening that's causing touch to be important to health? When you touch, you're releasing what's come to be known as a miracle hormone. It's called oxytocin. And I used to think oxytocin only happened in women. It happens during the labor process. 
happens that causes the letdown so that you can easily nurse a child. But it happens a whole lot more often than that. It happens when you touch. It happens when you hug. It's released when you gaze into the eyes of someone you love. Ever notice when you do that, that you get turned on and feel romantic? It's nature's way of procreating the species, keeping it going. It's like cuddling feels so good. Here's what's happening when the oxytocin starts flowing through your body. You have an increase in self-esteem. You have an increase in optimism, an increase in generosity. When you hug, when you hug heart to heart, you get the added piece of your heart beating, becoming in synchrony with one another, feeling the real connection. Did you ever notice when you hug or when you're touched or touch someone, you smile? Because it feels good. So you're getting the extra chemical release of all those feel-good hormones. But let me go on with what oxytocin does for you. It also increases your generosity. It allows you to feel empathy for the other person. And it creates instant trust in the other person. When I worked as a psychotherapist, I just instinctively knew that these people I remember I worked in crisis care. So these were people living at home with happy families with lots of touching. Because frankly, in a county facility, you're not allowed to even touch somebody who really needs a hug and needs a touch. And whenever I got to work behind closed doors, that's exactly what I did. Do you know that some of those people never, ever got a hug, ever? Unfortunately, it wasn't something I could do out in the open. That's what people need. In addition to all the things that it's doing for you, producing, raising, it also lowers your stress level. It physically lowers the cortisol that's flowing in your bloodstream. It lowers your blood pressure. It lowers the feelings and symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder. It decreases depression and anxiety. And get this, it can even, by the change in the hormonal structure, it can help someone reverse obesity. See why they call it a miracle drug? And here's something really important to know. You may know I'm writing a book that's quite extensively researched by me about mental illness and you know what it's possible to totally reverse mental illness and I'm saying totally even in the criminally insane and it's possible to prevent it and a big part of prevention has to do with diet and what's going on in the gut guess where oxytocin receptors are they're in the gut See how perfect nature is. Now, not everybody wants to be hugged. It's very important before you touch someone, and especially before you hug someone, to ask, is it okay? Because some people on the autism spectrum, so we're talking autism and Asperger's, we're talking bipolar and schizophrenia and ADD and ADHD. Sometimes they don't want to be hugged. Now, what I was saying before about how this oxytocin helps build empathy and trust, it also can help people who are shy and people with autism, helps them with their social skills. But you don't just walk up and touch somebody, else it's okay with them. So here's something else to know. If hugging doesn't work, say you're meeting a stranger. I'm somebody who's a huggy person. I, I tend to attract people who hug to me. So I ask if it's okay to hug, or if they ask if it's okay to hug, even people I've just met. And if it's not, you know what? Shake your hand. You shake your hand for six seconds, and that touch 
it's releasing oxytocin and you're connecting and you're going to feel connected to this person you just met and you're going to feel good yourself. So, one more thing to note. Virginia Satir founded Family Therapy. And what she said was, it takes four hugs a day just to survive. It takes eight to get by. And it takes 12 hugs a day to thrive. 12 hugs a day to thrive. How many people go through their life without even one? So make sure that you give a minimum four hugs a day and make sure that you're getting those four hugs a day. Let's start again. Uh oh, voice leaving. Voice leaving alert. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Tend to draw huggy person persons. <laughs> I tried.